Dear youth, our first speaker today is Kara Epirish, a renowned actor from Hungary. He was born in Hungary 1954. His parents, from the very beginning, wanted to have their son be a priest. But he did not become a priest. He became an actor. But in his films, he acts priests, policemen, warriors, kings. And the last role that he had was that of a prophet. Normally, he does not have a beard, but in the role of the prophet, he had to grow one. In addition to being an actor, he's also, above all, a good father and husband. Before his acting career, he was a technician and also played soccer. He has received several international awards. His films were nominated for the Oscar Award twice. The film El Dorado received the European Award in the meeting with Saint Sebastian. In the third meeting of the actors, he received the highest award for male role. He belongs to those who not only practice their faith privately, but he witnesses his faith with his life. Let us listen to his witness. Praise be Jesus Christ. Above all, I, first of all, I greet you warmly. And I thank you for every prayer that made it possible for me to be here with you. About 15 years ago, I was a Sunday Christian, going to church rarely. I went to confession and communion. I was an altar boy. I didn't even abandon the Sunday Masses when I was in the army. But I had many sins. And I thought, if I'm a Catholic and a Christian, then one day I will confess all them, all that. But afterwards I realized, who knows what it will be that will come to that machine that will cleanse me. Christians who only look with their eyes think that they are smarter than those who live their Christianity. But the one who lives his Christianity knows what is good and what is evil. And the one who is observing what is good and evil wants to only do what is good. And about 14 or 15 years ago, I became a Christian who lives his faith from a Christian who was only observing his faith. In the first place, I must thank God for this. And I must thank Our Lady, all the saints, and my guardian angel. And all those who prayed for me and sacrificed for me. Thank God I received my free will. In the end, I gave my yes. And I 
And I must give thanks. And I must give my witness before all of you. Every day I give thanks to God for this grace. And I start to live by God's grace. That what Our Lady is asking of us in Medjugorje. Every day I go to Holy Mass and Communion. Every day I pray three rosaries. Every day I contemplate on the Bible. Wednesdays and Fridays I fast. If it's possible, on bread and water, but not each time this way. And every week I go to confession. In Lourdes, Our Lady asked for us to confess monthly. In here, in Medjugorje, I felt that we have to confess weekly. And whoever wants to live these five points is what Our Lady wants of us because we must repent before God and we must offer up sacrifices for those who are in sin. In 1985, when I was a Sunday Christian, I was at a festival in Dubrovnik, and I was there to receive an award. My parents were with me. I came to Medjugorje, but I watched with the eyes of a tourist. I prayed, but my conscience was not so clear for me to go to the Hill of Apparitions. I was here also during the war. There was only one road which would come here from Makarska. We heard the gunshots from Mostar and the surrounding area, but we felt that we were under protection. I came during the war here to the Queen of Peace to give thanks to her for my conversion. Because I know that a person doesn't need to convert only once, but anew every day. And we Catholics, Christians, know how this needs to be. Among Christians, we the Catholics know how we must do this. And the prayer of the Heavenly Father is give us this daily bread. This means that in addition to the material bread, the Holy Mass, the Eucharist, is the most that we can receive every day. And because of this, we must knew, do all that is the best. Not only among actors, but also among others. It has been said that I'm not normal. I was in Turkey and in other places to film a movie where there weren't Catholic priests available. So I asked for a Catholic priest to be with me that I am able to have a mass every day and receive communion every day where I'm filming. And 
But among the the um, media, the word was spread that Emir is homosexual. And they couldn't even dawn on him that it was because of God I brought a priest with me. With me, my family was always present as well. If I can, I would like to say something to you. I would like to witness to you, say to you, that the rosary is the best, the most important, the most perfect gift that we have. The football matches and the Holy Mass are what draw closer. In a football game, one can be good only in cooperation with others. Never pray the rosary during Mass. Because the holiest of all prayers is the Holy Mass. We must prepare very well for it. And before the Holy Mass, we can best prepare with the rosary. The Holy Mass, three rosaries, every day to contemplate the Bible, fasting, Holy Confession. And Our Lady says, that she desires the Holy Mass to be in a center. She doesn't want herself to be in a center. She wants to lead us to Jesus. Five or six years ago, in a Catholic journal, I read that John Paul II is asking for the same from us. So is this Pope Benedict XVI. Why is this important? Many say the Medjugorje is only foolishness. But the one who has come to Medjugorje and has an open heart knows and feels that this is not silliness. With your hand, you can touch the presence of God. And our good Heavenly Mother brings us here. John Paul II, when he was asked by the bishops or the archbishops whether they can come to Medjugorje, often responded to them, if I could go there, I would have been there a long time ago. Go. Why did he not come? The bishop from Ostar does not accept Medjugorje. And for as long as this is so, the Pope cannot come while everybody else can. And we pray much in Hungary for the Bishop of Mostar. If you will not be angry with me, if you have a problem with anyone, then first pray for that person. Here in Medjugorje, I have learned, I believe that I heard it from Miriana the Visionary. In the green tent, we had a meeting, and he said, 
she said, if you really want to pray much for something, you don't have any more time. Our Lady then asked that we pray the third mystery of the Sorrowful Mysteries. Perhaps for each one of us, the third glorious mystery is the best. But Our Lady leads us to her son, whom she loves so much. And that is why the third mystery of the sorrowful mysteries when Jesus is crowned with the crown of thorns is so important. The rosary is not a foolish prayer. It is the perfect prayer. It is the most perfect prayer. Above it is only the Holy Mass. I, as an actor, must say to you, what I have in my hand is not by chance. The one who says that something is by chance is one that is friend with Satan. We have the joyful, sorrowful, and glorious mysteries. These are the classic mysteries. I would like to say to each one of you that the mystery of light is between the joyful and the sorrowful mysteries. And that is the rosary of the new evangelization. The last mystery of the luminous mysteries where Jesus gives himself in the Eucharist. Also points to the fact that the rosary, the mystery of light, is the mystery of the Eucharist. The rosary begins with the prayer, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, by this, we distance Satan away from us. After the Our Father, there is the Lord's Prayer. And then we enter into the Rosary with three Hail Marys for faith, hope, and love. This is the intention of these first three Hail Marys. Then we have the five decades, mysteries, Who has finished his high school would know from history. That there are five main pillars. The first decade, the second decade. Conversation, the third pinnacle, to find something in it, and the first, fifth in conclusion. The, the pinnacle of this joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. The pinnacle of the glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. The 
the pinnacle of the sorrowful mysteries is Jesus being crowned with the crown of thorns. This means that Christ the King is in the center. He who is the Redeemer and Savior. And he said to Philip, he who sees me sees the Father. The Blessed Virgin Mary always points to Jesus. There, where there is so much prayer, where there is adoration, where there is perpetual adoration 24 hours a day, just like here in Medjugorje. One hundred percent sure Jesus Christ is present there. Do not renounce that. This is all I know how to say to everyone. If you have something to give, this is a special place where we can put everything in order within ourselves and we can begin our life anew. Many times I was asked, how do you live your Christianity as an actor? And I ask, how can a good doctor, lawyer, engineer live as a non-Christian? I receive every role that I'm given, whether positive or negative. If the idea of this role goes towards justice, because if a doctor performs surgery, it is not true that he is a murderer. A doctor does not commit surgery in order to abort. If he were to perform a surgery in order to abort, that would be murder. We know that there are special aspects of the canon, if a doctor performs a surgery in order to take out the tumor, he evangelizes. When we speak with a priest for the sake of speaking, that's only conversation. And if a priest does not see the sincerity of the penitent, he cannot absolve him of his sins. Many times people don't understand how I can play the role of the good guys and the bad guys. Then I say that I don't only play the roles of Jesus or of prophets like now. Or if I were a female, I would not only want the role of Mary, but I, as an actor, must act the role of men. I play the roles where in the end there is a catharsis, a purification. I 
és a feltámadás igazságát nem sugározza. But in a film where perhaps, for example, where in the passion Christ just ends on a cross and there is no resurrection, I would not take that role. They often ask me why do I take the roles in films where I don't have clothes on. Rarely this also happens. Imagine the young man who was stoned in the Gethsemane and remained naked. Was that sin for him? Or if I were to take the role of Jesus when he was stripped, is that sin? And when you remove your clothes in front of a doctor, is that sin? If this is necessary for a person's health, it would be something completely different if somebody were to go to the doctor only for the sake of removing their clothes. From God we have received free will. And we must reflect well on this grace, how we are to live it. Jesus Christ has said, the law of love is the law. If we live the law of love, that is God's commandment. I am a son of a doctor. Oh, sorry, of a teacher. I know that there are two pillars to any role of a prophet. We must educate our heart. And with our mind, we must have the consequence. The heart is the education, and the mind is the result. Together, it is learning. Morals and wisdom. The Bible is the heart and the reason connected together is art. Upon this the rosary is built. The joyful mysteries of the rosary tell us of whom it is all about. The sorrowful mystery tells us why this happened. And the mystery of the glorious mystery is how it happened. The rosary is perfect prayer. If I may say, in the rosary we have the Bible in small and the most holy essence is the Holy Mass and Communion. All of us are only passers-by in this world. Do 
And the question is, are we moving, traveling towards God? Or are we just occupying ourselves with silliness? Therefore, I ask you to permit me. to tell you a very important theme that I desire to clarify. Whoever gives the book Harry Potter into their hands of the child or prefers this book, he sins. I thought you didn't understand me. I think Harry Potter woke everybody up. Harry Potter says that if you have problems, start some kind of magic and you will be happy. But he leads us to silliness. But even Pinocchio leads us to God. Pinocchio is the one that teaches us to take up our cross. If you have problems, difficulties, pick up your cross and follow me. If you have problems and difficulties, put everything in its place. I can play any role of Pinocchio, but I would never accept a role in Harry Potter films. Not because of those who would read a Harry Potter book. But the first mystery of the rosary is always for those who read his books, read the books of Harry Potter. Let us not only be those who aimlessly travel, let us be those with a goal in our life that we may return back to the Father together with the Son and the Mother and together with all the saints. I ask all those who might have offended not to be angry. Man sins in his actions, thoughts, and omissions. A monarch in the middle, monk in the Middle Ages said, before God, there are the grave sins, but they will not be so grave as our omissions. We have not omitted anything here. Thank you for being patient. And I wish for you to be beautiful and good pilgrims, my beloved. We thank Karo Eperesh for the sharing of his beautiful experience and his words. Now.